Hey, 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 Eddie Bales here. And uh, today I want to share something with you real powerful uh, towards your success. And, and what that is, is basically um, th there's this one thing that can literally separate you from the success that you desire. Um, and let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever been in a situation where um, life just was happening to you and you let it take you down the wrong path, a spiral down the wrong path. I want to share with you how to keep yourself out of that wrong path and keep stay on the right road to success, if that kind of makes sense. So let's just jump right in. It's basically emotional management. Very few people have a high level of emotional management. And what that basically means is when 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 the wind blows of disaster and change and and and, and all kind of down things that are happening in your life, um, how can we stay positive and how can we stay in the right attitude so we can be progressing instead of regressing, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to share with you seven things that I, I believe that can really help you in a major way. Number one is music. Um, have you ever been in a down place and, and you turn on the right song and it just lifts your spirits up? It changes everything, right? I mean, like you went from being down in the dumps to like you bouncing off the walls because your right song came on. So I would suggest making yourself a playlist. Um, you know, you might call it uh, your fun playlist, or I like to call mine my hype playlist. Like if I need to be hype, then I got my hype list, right? And then number two, this is, this is it may seem crazy, but try it. Um, take a cold shower. Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to jump in the shower and you're going to be like, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do it. Oh, and then you just shock yourself. But then what happens is, um, you, you, for number one, you build your confidence level because you just, you just said, okay, this is hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. And you go do it. And so what also happens is you shock the nervous systems in your, in your brain and in your body. So it, it literally recalibrates you. It gives you a boost of energy. It's just something that, a lot of successful successful people do. Now, I don't do it every day, but I have done it. And it trust me, it works really, really well. Um, number three is, uh, and, and hold on one sec. Number three is, is basically um, you want to uh, ha be in a state of gratitude. And, you know, this one is, is like, so, so when things happen that are negative, like let's just give an example. Let's just say you're coming out of the grocery store. You got a bag full of stuff. It's raining. It's pouring. And somebody bumps into you and it causes you to drop everything in the rain, on the ground, on your way to the car. So now you got to get down on your knees uh, in the rain and pick everything up. Now, you have two choices. You always have two choices. You could be in a state of gratitude and you can... Be grateful and say, hey, man, it's, it's no problem. It's all good. Um, and, and you go pick your stuff up. And you're like, man, I'm just... And you're thinking to yourself, man, I'm just thankful that I even have stuff to go grocery shopping with. I'm, I'm thankful that I even have groceries to pick up and get because I know that there are people who don't have, right? And so when you just switch everything and change your mindset, then now you can be more in an empowering state instead of a disempowering state where you almost want to cuss the other person out and you're just in a bad place. And what happens is maybe something else happens and then something else happens. The next thing you know, you take yourself down that downward spiral that we talked about, right? And so number four is affirmations and declarations. Mm -hmm. And words have power. So you, you just can't say positive things and, and, and be disempowered. Right. So so I say things like money comes to me through increasing quantities, through multiple sources on a continuous basis, easily and frequently. Like I can't say that and not be in a spirit of expectation. I can't say things like, um, you know, uh, every day and every way I'm getting better and better and I'm on the path to greatness. I'm I'm living in my calling. I'm, I'm fulfilling my passions and God is uh, prospering me in all of the things that I do. I, I just can't say things like that. And be disempowered, right? So that's number, number, I think number four is affirmations and declarations. Come up with your own affirmations and declarations and watch how that will, will really change things. Number five is exercise. You know, now this is something that I've been kind of slack on, um, but I used to exercise like all the time. Like, I, I mean, I was at one point where I was doing a hundred push-ups a day straight, just a hundred push-ups, 
not stopping, right? And I felt so energetic. I felt so, you know, my arm was getting a little swollen and stuff. It was getting bigger. And I felt good, right? I felt confident. I felt positive, right? Now, I still feel confident and positive, but I felt a little bit more positive and a little bit more confident because I was exercising. So that would be number five. These are all things to help you continue to have a positive emotional state, no matter what's happening. So what I'm saying is, the wind blows, something bad happens today, but because I'm exercising, because I took that cold shower, because I'm t- saying my affirmations and because I'm doing all these things, it just kind of brushes right off me. Like it doesn't even affect me because I'm doing these things. Make sense? Also, um, celebrating the small wins. And my favorite way of doing this is I have something called an emotional bank account. What is that? Well, Um, Just like a regular bank account, you can't take money out unless you put money in. And so I have an email folder. And what I do is I store different different things in there. So like, for instance, if somebody compliments me on something that I did really great and it really affected them, or if I get an award or something like that, or I, I get some kind of recognition or something, anything positive that in a good place, I take it and store it so so when I'm in a bad place, I can pull it out and I can revive myself back up and make myself feel better, right? All right. The next one, and this is the last one, is change your position. And this is another one that may seem silly and crazy, but see, when you're, you, your body reacts sometimes to how your physiology is, is right now. So what I'm saying is if you're slouched down, if you're hunched over, if you're like you know, frown face and just in a bad state physically, then emotionally you're going to, your, your body's going to be congruent. But if you shift that, so, so, so for instance, stick your chest out, hold your chest, hold your head up. You know, uh, here's a funny one I, I, I used to do, uh, look up at the ceiling and just start laughing. Just go, <laughs> right. It's crazy. Right. But it, you can't laugh. Even if you fake laugh, Long enough, you'll eventually start laughing for real. <laughs> and eventually, you'll be in a whole nother state, right? So I'm going to go over these real quick one more time. Change your music. Change your affirmations. Take a cold shower. Exercise. Have a spirit of gratitude. Celebrate the small wins. And change the position. And you start to do these things, you'll have a high, a high level emotional um, intelligence, high level of emotional awareness, and it will shift how you operate your life. So I hope you guys got some value from this. And by the way, if you're looking at this video and you want to go into 2019 and you'd like to have another income stream, uh, right? Like you have one income stream, but you want to have a second income stream that doesn't affect the first income stream, right? So now you got two flowing into your household. Reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you about that. But hey, listen, guys, God bless you. Hope you guys got some value and we'll see you all over the top. Take care.